Hey, it's Randy, here in the garage. What I've got in the work stand today is my uh, neighbor's Huffy. So she came over and asked if she could pay me to uh, fix the flats on it. So I told her no, but I would fix them for free. It always poses a dilemma though. <laughs> we'll get into that later. So when she brought over the bike, she also brought over um, some new tires and new tubes. These original tires really don't look in bad shape. Um, I'm guessing the bike was never ridden that much, but even as old as they are, they don't see any dry rod or anything on them and they got plenty of tread. So I guess I will um, put in the new tubes, probably reuse the old tires and let her take the new tires back. Probably adjust the derailleur and the brakes, uh, lube everything up. Yeah, the bike looks in really good condition. Um, I don't think it was ever ridden much and then I'm pretty sure it was stored in the garage. It's five speed steel wheels. What do we have? Uh, oh, just a double up front. Friction shifting. Caliper brakes. So this thing weighs a ton. I'd like to take off the front derailleur so don't have to worry about that rubbing or whatever. Um, I really think a different saddle would be good for, but you know, where do you draw the line? I should just do what she asks and leave it at that. I think I will adjust the derailleurs and the brakes, maybe oil some things up in addition to replacing the tubes. Hey, took the front wheel off. First thing I noticed is um, bearings, axle, whatever, is way too tight. I'll probably t take that apart, make sure it's got grease, and then adjust it properly. Yeah, in addition to the bearings being too tight, um, the old grease had kind of caramelized in there, so I'm cleaning these up and We'll uh, re-grease it and put it back together. So I'm looking at these old Kenda all-terrain bicycle tires that were, I assume, original. I don't know if these would have been original to the bike, to be honest, but they're definitely old. Anyway, they really didn't show any signs of dry rot or anything. But... You know, they're starting to come apart here right at the the wire bead. Me, I would go ahead and run them, mostly just because I like the, the gum wall, but since it's not my bike and she already bought new tires, I think we will go ahead and just put the new tires on. So I got the rear tire mounted. This axle spins pretty freely and there's no slop in it. The free wheel seems to work okay, so I'm not going to tear into that and do anything with that. So now I'm going to put it back on the bike. Of course, since I inflated the tire off the bike, I had to um, release the brake cable to get the tire to fit in between the brakes. So now I'm going to tighten that back up, uh, adjust them and everything. Okay, got the brakes adjusted, both uh, front and rear. Well, if you've watched this channel for any length of time, I'm sure you're well aware, I have nothing against uh, these cheap old Walmart bikes like this. Um, I've, I've fixed a few up for myself. I just don't think it's an ideal bike for somebody that's um, just getting back into riding again. You know, it's it's really heavy. Friction shifting, the brakes don't work all that well.
So we put on uh, new tubes and tires, both the front and the rear. Let's see, um, had to clean and re-grease the uh, front hub. The rear we left alone. I took the cables, all the cables out of the housings and lubed those up, adjusted the brakes, adjusted the rear derailleur. I didn't even mess with the front derailleur. I'm gonna tell her just to ignore it. And I was tempted just to take it off, but there's no need um, for the front derailleur or her to ever be going into the big ring. Let's see, I raised the saddle just so I could ride it. The bottom brackets seem to be okay. The headset seemed to be okay, so I didn't mess with either one of those. And I think that's about everything. I'll admit overall I was pretty pleased uh, with the way it rode. It rode better than I thought it was going to. So to those of you that uh, tinker on bikes like I do and maybe have friends, neighbors, family that uh, ask you to work on their bikes, whether it just be simple fixing a flat or doing adjustments or whatever, how do you handle a situation like that? Um, you know, you get the bike, they just want a flat fix, but you find so many other things are wrong with it and then the bike's generally not worth putting any money into. Let me know down in the comments um, how you handle that type of situation. So I'm gonna go uh, give it back to the owner. Um, as always, thanks for uh, hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next video.